when we saw it uh, yesterday in the It's Okay Black and Yellow game, they did run Monkey King Troll. So, I mean, these teams can just do whatever they want with Monkey King, more or less. I think the hero is probably just that strong. But we'll see. Might just pick up an offlaner here for EA boys as well. Play it safe, not reveal too much information with it. I mean, you could definitely pick up an offlaner here and play it safe indefinitely. What you would take is the question, Mars. I'm going to keep talking about it still in the pool, but they're not going to take it. We've already kind of dictated he's not going to be. Well, they don't care. They want Mars. They got it. They got him. I mean, we saw the effectiveness of Mars throughout the week already and throughout all the other qualifiers in Dota 2. Everybody likes Mars. Mars is great this patch. It is Dyer's fan. And Ricky. And the Ricky. All right. So it's so mid monkey then. It's, yeah, it'll be mid monkey. That'll means, yeah. That's okay. All of the broken heroes are getting picked. It's going to be an interesting match. No Lycan, though. That's good. Yeah, no Lycan and in I mean, this one. What? Mars is definitely... The Ricky wanes so well versus Mars. The Jakiro is going to be... It's just going to cause problems for him. I, I'm surprised they went for it, but... I guess, considering the other offliners they could have picked, you can't really pick Pango in this situation, even though we've seen Pango do ridiculously well in these games. And, I mean, after that, I guess there there aren't really too many viable offliners, aside from the maybe 3-4. It's like Timber, Beast, Mars, Pango, Batrider. And those those very rarely are getting through the bands. That's why we saw Giant play Slard our last game. But looks well, like they're I mean going to ban that through. Slaughter is definitely a good ban in this scenario because whatever their core pick is going to be, they don't want it to like kind of just get trekked by this armor. It, it well, I wasn't going to say it could very well still be Terrorblade because you do ban Slardar if you're in a TB game. But uh, now TB has been banned as well as the Naga, so no big illusionary surprises here. And um, they can't pick Pango versus the Puck, so I'm I'm curious what they're going to go for. Spectre? I mean. We saw it yesterday once, but Five it didn't win. Seconds. Yeah, it, it Viper, just got no Viper got banned, so maybe, maybe the the thing is you you want to think like oh this PL hick it's got to be PL oh it's got to be Jug, but all of these heroes feel so bad in in these <sighs> matchups specifically. We saw Ursa the other day whenever uh, all of the heroes seem to be banned out, and they take out night stalkers that makes me think they're going to be leaning more towards a jug pick but we'll have to see aerosol's got to pick up an offlaner though ursa's not bad here actually now that you think now that you mention it because the ursa was the go-to pick against that monkey king last game Five seconds remaining. and it worked out relatively well they were able to contest them in lane a decent amount but at the end of the day it was still like it was still based entirely around like what the supports and the offlaners were able to make play wise for him, but still, uh, it, you could you could do Ursa here. You would need BKB, which is not really an, a great item to rush on a Ursa. And snap. All right, okay. so this is the this is offlane snap then, unless for some reason this is offlane Spirit Breaker, but it's more understandable that this is a three snap. Yeah. And I mean, it's, I don't know. I, I honestly don't like it too much. I mean, Snap is a ridiculously good hero. It, again, another great hero versus Mars. You just put the, the kisses in the ring. You can always get out of the ring. You can always get someone else out of the ring. And maybe the, maybe they're, they're ahead of the curve right now. They're looking at what EA boys needs to pick for their safe laner. And I mean, I feel like it's got to be like Jug or... It's got to be one of these these ultra carries because the rest of the team they're they're the space makers right now, and I mean they will have an undying in the lane. Okay, right. PA. So PA is definitely one of the ultra cores for sure. More, I don't want to say more reliable than a jug because jugs got spin, but like PA is usually one of those other big go to last pick. Like this is what we have to win with at your heroes. Because like you were saying, you look at E Boy's draft. Sure, they've got the Mio Puck again, but. There was no damage. EA is all damage. Precisely. And I just hope that it's going to match up well. I mean, it matches up pretty well into the uh, 
the Ricky. I guess more so the Jug, just because if Jug gets silenced, he's going to have a pretty bad time. But Ricky doesn't naturally want to build an MKB. He really just wants to focus on his own items. And if he does get MKB, it's usually after Manta or BKB. And that's that's a ways away. So I think it's really going to be up to just Mio to buy time for speed. And I mean, once uh, speed overcomes like farming for maybe, you know, 15, 20 minutes, the only hero he really has to worry about is Sabo. Because Sabo is, I mean, it, it's a pretty decent uh, SB game, but I think SB is only good versus the PA in this game. He can't really do anything versus Puck. He's pretty good versus Double A, but even Mars, I think he's just too tanky for you to take out. Definitely the uh, definitely the case. I mean, what do you what do you go then against the Spirit Breaker as a PA? Because you can't really build BKBs, right? Because Bash will hit anyway. Or he'll probably get one later on, just so that way he doesn't need to worry about Ricky Cloud or uh, any of the, the Snapfire ultis or Ice Path. But you can't really buy Lincolns versus SB as much as like you want oh. it. Well, I think Lincolns is just too bad of an item now. An ephemeral masterpiece. It's the NA pause. Oh, He's boy. The first, the first one of the, the day. I was so super surprised last game when it, the game just started. It just, it just kept going. No, just no pauses throughout the whole entire game, too. There wasn't just, like, any one thing that just broke. We just crash, you know? We just crash, and then we talk. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, there was one time in, I think it was a long time ago, when I was doing SEA for a whole entire year. Uh, there was a point in time where the game was paused, and both teams were fine sharing their pause time. This was over. So it was, it, it got to that point where it's like the game was paused for probably about like 15 minutes. Now, oh as boy. a commentator, right, you only have so much crap you could just spit out of your mouth until you run out of things to talk about. My go to thing that I do when that happens and I have nothing else to talk about, right? I load my phone and I look up dad jokes and I tell them oh. on stream. Oh boy. <laughs> Hopefully we don't get pressed to that. <laughs> no, no. I just most of the time it usually doesn't happen in NA because uh, when it comes to NA, they're just like, go. We yeah. we gotta go. They're just Re like we're, we're not gonna wait for the pause. They're gonna go for it. Everybody plays NA pubs, unranked and ranked. God knows that your opponent will always unpause when the chance is available. Oh, and I remember, uh, I think it was it was VP versus Navi back when Navi still had Dendi, and I mean, bless his heart. He kept the game paused for like back when Roger was like a new trade in when Roger just joined VP, but he was having like incredible region issues. He just couldn't connect back to the game. So then Navi started pausing for VP and Navi had no hope of winning the game, but they didn't want to win by forfeit. So they just they, they kept the game paused. It was probably paused for 25 minutes and then they came back and then they lost in like five minutes. <laughs> Hey, I mean that that's the that's the story there though. That's like Dota being the Dota Dota players just being the nice guys they like to be, especially Dendi. He's such a nice human. And it's it's the real sportsmanship, you know, that that, that shows through. Even though we're losing, you know, we're not going to win that way. Yeah, no. And you don't really want to do that anyway cuz it just it always feels I don't want to say like scummy to kind of win by a DQ like that. But, you know, it, if you know you're losing the game immensely, you know there's no real way to come back, then, yeah, in that scenario, I would have paused it, too. I think anybody would have done that. Unless you were, like, a really toxic NA Dota player. Well, and I'm really excited. I think this is the first lane in all of Coast Wildfires where Prince is going to have probably the leg up in the... Maybe not the matchup, but is definitely going to be able to do stuff in, in this game. Whereas I feel like the, these past games he's played, he's always gotten the short end of the stick. So I, I hope I really hope he starts showing his stuff in this game. Yeah, no, this time he's the one with the physical stick. Yes, he has the stick. <laughs> he and has I mean, both the stick and the lane. Exactly. But yeah, this is definitely a good lane for him. But though speaking of good lanes, down in bot, we see Bloody Sky is going to be in a bit of trouble here. Got daggered up for the slow. Well, and this is a scary lane. When they're solo with the decay, the dagger, it really oh. hurts. The dagger chunks. Whenever Bloody they've got like what, eight, 500 max HP, 800 max HP. Okay, the decay's starting to wear off, but still. Yep, they're going. I mean, you can see it right here. It's that minus HP that just hurts so much because both of these heroes are strength heroes. So that that strength is extremely important for them. 
Not to mention, just makes it harder to last it. I mean, you've already got pretty poor base damage on Snapfire, but now it's it's minus four. You're trying to last it versus a PA with Cloying Blade, and he's got, you know, that much damage. Of course, to say that, and Sabo gets a deny, but... Alright, I saw Mars getting really low up in the top lane, but it looks like he's able to disengage for the time being. Has a salve, and will heal it up. I do want to point out, though, like, during that laning phase, Undying just denied, like, two different salves, I believe, in this lane right off the get-go. Yeah, so a sauce, AB1 is a, is really good. He he's really on it. He's he's probably one of the best fives in all NA. He's just always always there. He he's always making the right decision in these lanes. Oh, careful! Don't tell PPD that. Nope. True. <laughs> <laughs> he's watching, you know. <laughs> Fast. I mean, he 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 knows. He knows. He knows. Also, but, he's NIP now, right? So he's not even NA, really. I, I was gonna say, yeah, he former NA. You know, he'll he'll always be he'll always be NA. He brings the NA to EU. Oop. I'd say Undying's in trouble here, oh but it's boy. gonna be flipped around quite quickly here as the Bloody Sky. No, nope, they find a double bash with the charge and follow up, but we'll slow down that aggression for the time being. And, I mean, the bright side is, it versus this lane, you see it already, they both have sticks, so whenever they get gone and they've got these low HP pools, they pop the stick, and I mean, oh. it's a crazy heal, but I think maybe... Oh, well, the yeah, charge has to charge to save down. him. Yeah, the charge will slow it down, like, that's the only thing, though, is that that's their oh, top, top lane. Double yep, he's trying to get this Ricky as try as hard as possible, but unable to get it. Rises just Even a little, little bit more giant HP. Before he dies is Never mind, I thought there was something happening mid two, but a lot of kills happening. Well, a lot of kills actually. I say that it's four minutes in with only two on the board total, but and there's yeah, a lot of fighting. All of these lanes are really, really active. Yeah, it's a big brutality lane. Big old brutality game. I mean your Mars is gonna fire. be skewering constantly. Your Snapfire has to cookie for defensives, and that that's just this is just the power of the undying. On double A is making this Shakira walk back to base. This is, or he might just actually got him. Yeah, he gets him. Dude, Dude that's a sad the power walk back. Of Eighty-one right-click damage on a ranged support. That's not even yeah. like a bad ranged support. He's been making this lane real rough for Rise. They were able to kill him before, but I, I think it's just because every once in a while you just get on top of him, and and then what do you do? You know, he's one of the worst heroes if there are just three heroes on top of him, or even just two, but. This lane is going to get harder for Giant, I think. Well, as soon as Ricky hits 6, the lane is pretty much over. I mean, Giant can definitely kill him once he hits 6, but Ricky just does so much more damage than he does. I, f I found... Somebody just told me that I forgot to switch the DPC NA thing off of the map, so that's going to be there for 5 minutes. Thank you, guy in chat. I, ap I apologize. <laughs> guy in chat always saves the day. Well, it saves spawn. the day with the five minutes later, but sorry about that, guys. That's going to be there for a little while. Um, well, not anymore. It's gone now, but still, it, it's big action game. But the five-minute runes get up, and there's no contest for it, actually. It's just straightforward, 2-2 two, yeah, two no. even grab. And you actually see Prince has run away with this lane. This lane, I mean, Mio's getting kind of uh, clapped on right now. 34 and 9 on Prince, and they're not... I, he's been farming a little bit of the jungle camps, but he's just been, been really rocking this lane. I mean, he's having a great time. There's nothing that could really contest him. I mean, obviously, he's... Well, he's got... Yeah, you're right. He's leading the CS, too. It's 13 over. 5 or with 8 denies over his 1, but... The puck's not entirely concerned. They're both six now. So we'll no doubt see the uh, the puck rotate out to a lane to try to confirm some kills here. The question is, which lane is really the the kill potential lane? And Chris thought about going top. He did manage to steal away that six minute rune, but Mio doesn't even have a bottle yet. What He's is going he... opted for this double null talisman build, but I don't. It's a it, it's a hard lane so far. Maybe he felt he needed some more durability to last against Prince here. Of course, Null Talisman is not exactly the one that gives you more HP, but I don't, I don't think you build Bracers anymore, so... Yeah, and here they go. They're going on double again, but he's able to walk it off. Bot lane. 
Scourge out onto Undying. He does have the ability to sap some strength here. We'll get that, but we'll be He's got a six stick as well. Yeah, he's, he's going to dance his way out of this one. Back up in the top lane, though. We see Double A getting burnt up a little bit here by the Jakiro, but not going to find that trade either. Yeah, it, it feels like everyone is drawing the lanes, to be honest. And I think that heavily favors, actually, the, uh, the Dire side, because, I mean... Prince is on the best hero in the game. He's going to be able to make a lot of plays. Puck needs to be really careful in the scheme of things. And you'll see Prince coming towards bottom. They've already almost killed Albino Zebra 1. And yeah, they're going to rotate the Puck instead. So we're going to see a brawl bottom. This is a good old stack up here. The monkey's here. Oh. The monkey sees him though. Mio's like, go. monkey's like, no. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> no. Oh, that was the quickest yeah. get out of dodge ever. And that was a see. really fortunate tree dance. Dodge. Yeah, there, there was nobody in mid lane for like two creep way. Yeah, they saw They now see the monkey coming back from bot lane. They're like, hmm, interesting scenario there. <laughs> yeah. And I think because they see this heavy shift, they're going to try and look to get giant. But without Ricky, oh, giant just saw, I think, a glimpse of the Jakiro. He's going to stop lane. his TP. Prince. They are trying to go for double A here. They burn out the HP here, but he's under a big old stack of tombstone, but he will end up cleaning it up. They do oh, he have tried, he tried to in. deny it. I mean, it's hard to deny that tombstone at early levels. Yeah. Well, and then Giant comes bottom, and then Speed goes top, and... I mean, Ricky's so happy with this. He's just had his lane to himself for a really long time now. And with his level 6, there are very few heroes that can kind of go versus him. PA is definitely not one of them. He's going to need somebody to come top. Top lane. It's PA versus Ricky. Nothing's going to happen there, though. Denied. He's getting a lot of crits, dude. Speed is... Hey, that's, that's, how, uh, that's how PA do, you know? Oh, but... Speed's getting wrapped on right now. Yeah, there comes the Breaker Charge as well as the Burn Damage out from the Jakiro. Oh, All the, the TP's coming stun. out, though. The TP's are happening, but are they going to get there in time? The Breaker... Oh, nice! From Rise. Wait, did the the Breaker got interrupted in the Roche Pit! He got they bashed. are going to end up getting this Monkey. He's getting really low here. They are trying to get the clean up with Mio. Nice they stun. actually get the kill. Downless. The Spirit Breaker Charge to confirm, and now Double A falling as well. They still get a triple kill despite being bashed by the Roshan on the way in. Yeah, that Back that all got really hairy. Rise actually didn't get coiled. He actually got to jump to a creep right before it. And I think Giant needs to be there. I'm surprised he didn't rotate too, because that, that was everyone. That was that was the team fight. Oh, I thought I saw like speed getting jumped on here by this Jakiro. You don't want to be oh, burning. Now Giant's away. getting monkeyed. Yep. Oh, and Mr. Spear. <laughs> Couldn't get any spear skewer on that one. Giant needs to escape. Will he be able to get out in time? As long as there's I think vision. Think the orb corrosion yeah, too strong. As long as there's vision, I'm like, oh, but they have the ward right there at the end of the day. It doesn't even matter. But yeah, orb yeah. corrosion. OP. <laughs> yeah, and double double A pings it out. He he sees them turn towards him as soon as he gets there. Yeah, jumping over to the net worth though, we do see that it is this monkey who had a very nice time in the mid leading at 4.5. Ricky second, running at 3.7. What are we going for? Standard defusal build. He's got the orb of corrosion this game. He didn't actually go for it last game though. Speed needs to be careful, but Prince is actually the one who needs to be more careful here. They're debating on going yeah. on him. They're going to let him be for the time being. They're going to try and leverage this Mars now. They they really need to start using their abilities on the enemy team. I, they don't want the SB. I think they're looking for the monkey, but that's a hard grasp. They really need the puck to be able to coil him, I think. And if they see these two heroes in mid, Mew's going to get gone in it. I don't think they realize there's going to be a lot of heroes mid. That's speed as well. He's taking quite a bit, though. Blinks up to the high ground. They drop the tombstone. Oh, no, the and they're, they're just going to settle for him. Yeah, they didn't they want this, but... I mean, your Spirit Breaker's got a lot of HP to work up against anyway, so they knew that one of them had to die there. Yeah. They wanted to get the Jakiro Monkey mid, but they're, they're just a little bit too privy to what's going on. And they will try to push this mid tower, but yeah, the Kiss has come out. I, I don't think they can do this. And Mio's actually taking a lot of damage. Yeah. Gets clipped by the stun from Prince as well, confirming that kill there. That's huge for them to get this, because now... 
Dyer could probably just go and take this mid tower if they want. That's their big aggression defensive hero. They do have... They do have arena if they need it. But looking I don't know what... Uh, they're looking for speed. Well, they're going to find him. They get the jump on him. Orb of Corrosion, the slowest there. The follow-up stun from Jakiro. He's like, I can't hit this man. Speed blinks away, but oh, unfortunately on top right of Ricky. Ricky. They do have the slow now. Double A getting caught oh, out the, from the Spirit the Breaker feed. Ultimate. There is the arena, though. But the problem is, like you're talking, Chain Feed, though. They do have the coil. Does manage to find two inside the arena, but there's no real damage for follow-up. The oh, he breaks the, his he own breaks coil, the coil on though, But at the same time, yeah. Cosmo will hit the floor as well as the puck. Be a five-man team might very early into the game. That's not what you want to be seeing as your uh, as a PA player. Yeah, it just feels like they're they're one step behind these rotations. They're just getting out rotated on, and then just the damage comes through, and they do a lot of damage. I I think the only hero that doesn't do a lot of damage is Sabo, and I mean they they killed him off for a reason with that cookie. Send him back to the fountain, you know. Yeah, they 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 wanted it. They got him. But, uh, well, now what do you do? You saw this team fight, your 7k net worth lead, the arena didn't do anything, and the coil couldn't find anything, and you're still trying to build battle for your, for your PA. I think they just need to, they just need to wipe down. I mean, Mio's, Mio's going for the boots of travel to try and get some split push, get some farm up, but it doesn't feel great. Once they have their cooldowns, they can try for something again, but, yep, getting on on. And Giant doesn't have his ultimate, so he needs to get the spear, but even that's on cooldown. Yeah, he couldn't really get anything there. He does manage to still find the spear. He just wanted to prove he could land the shot and throw it. But and here's the problem. The Dire Heroes are so independent with the way that they can play that Giant needs to be behind his PA for the PA to farm. But while that's happening, Giant isn't farming. And the monkey and... Yeah, they're just killing people all around the map. But Giant has to stand behind his cores, and because he's doing that, he is really poor. He is not having a good game so far. Charged. He's going to get gone on mid. He does have arena. They're not going to break the charge, and they are going to throw kisses out for this one. Giant's just dead. He actually undying. gets chain bash too. The coil goes through, though, defensively, but oh, it will be enough. Now, they do manage to find a kill for speed. But at the same oh, time, the Boundless has just got so much damage. The Boundless confirming a lot of kills here. They are going to get at least two. The TP in from double A. But it doesn't matter. He finds speed out on the sidelines. They're not even in the sidelines. Ryze just dives him under yeah. the tower. I don't know where the monkey was going. Yeah, monkey. I mean, they completely respected Double A there. He did not want to get shackled underneath that T2 with Serpent Wards. Complete respect for Double A there. But Ryze is, like you said, he got the double smoke and clipped Double A. So speed just got taken down with him. And this is looking really bad for Electronic Boys. Yeah, and he's not done, but I think he, I mean, I think he's gonna go down here, maybe, but... Yeah, he finds the jump immediately. Oh, he's got so he's much got, for it. Got the burn damage, but there's not really much for follow-up. He's pumping the Wukong command, but he's not gonna go for it. It's like, we don't want to play too greedy. We're ahead. We get it. And he's but got a Witch Blade on Monkey King. You see this? I've never seen this one before. Maybe because it's I mean, more it's poison? I mean, 35 it's attack, attack speed. speed. Yeah. But I, I've never, never What's, seen it yet. Is it like a cost-effective item? It's 2,600. Like, even an Echo I'm, Saber would have been better. Well, the thing is, the burn does damage based off your int. And, I mean, Monkey's got pretty bad int, actually. Yeah, he's not exactly so, a, a high-intelligence hero. Not the smartest guy, but, oh, no, but Mio. they do have the ring. They walk right into this. Giant throws out the arena, Go but it's not going to find and anything. Double a. You see double A on the back lines trying to find something. They kill off speed. What do you do here? You just got another five-man team wipe. And they just, they tried everything. I mean, Double A just had to walk all the way through that Monkey King ulti to get anything done. Yeah, they, they just call they it. They just GG. It, they don't, they're just like, this game's done. We can't, we can't do anything. It, yeah, it's just hopeless in this situation. I think that that's by far the fastest win in quals. I saw some 20-minute wins, but this was just a beatdown. Yeah, that that was that was a huge beatdown. This kind of reminds me of the game one from yesterday. That was a, uh, a kind of a big weird beatdown one there. Oh yeah, with the with with the the Brial puck. Yeah, and, Brial and the puck opposite. was the the big one, and then yeah, the the game after that wasn't terrible either. But yeah, this was a actual beatdown of a game. Like it felt like they weren't ahead the whole entire time. The, the thing is with PA, which is why I don't really like people like first picking this or not first picking it, but last picking the PA is that 
PA needs to have a Battle Fury to come online, and if you can't ensure that your Battle Fury gets up, like, any time before the 12-minute mark, like, if you're at the 12-minute mark, you have two pieces, that's great. But if we look at Speed's items here, and then we, we drag the slider to 12 minutes, he still has the same items that he did at 15 minutes, except he built an Orb of Corrosion. At 11 I, minutes is when he bought the... Uh, <laughs> Is when he bought the first broadsword, but like there was he he was nowhere close to it. When you can see that kind of hopeless hopelessness to just try and fight, but there was just so much net worth. All of the heroes in Aristotle actually gelled so well with each other that Snapfire Pit kind of just brought everything together. They were so aggressive. Like I th I think they got really greedy with the Shadow Shaman first pick. Like it it just ended up being a terrible Shadow Shaman game. And Double A usually the playmaker on his team just wasn't able to do anything across the map. There was no hero he could gank. There's there's no play for him to be made. And even when Puck tried to get involved, he was just counter-rotated. Prince was just always there. And if you get bound to struck as Puck, you're just going to go down. There's just nothing you can really do in that situation. Your HP pool is just too low. I'm sad we didn't get to see the Witchblade more in action, to be honest. Yeah, I was very curious about it. Like, the low <laughs> int damage-based Monkey King item. Maybe he's just like, you know what, guys? I haven't bought this item yet, and I kind of want to get it anyway. But, like, maybe it's because of the slow? Like, they've got Orb of Corrosion. I'm pretty sure it stacks with Orb of Corrosion. So oh, yeah. it's 13% yeah. plus the 25%. So it's pretty good, but it's just... Well, and maybe in a harder game, he would go the normal Maelstrom, but he just felt no need to farm. He just wanted to keep on rolling. And, I mean, it is a really strong 2,600 gold item. Like, if Echo Saber is off the, off the, can't build that anymore, I mean, Witchblade, Witchblade's pretty up there. I mean, they kind of give similar stats, to be honest. Well, I mean, it gives decent stats. I just, like, I don't know. Don't but really use that There's better items for 35 yeah. attack speed. Yeah. <laughs> That being said, though, ladies and gents, it was a best of three and still is a best of three. Now it's do or die for both of these teams. We'll have the game number three of Electronic Boys versus Aristotle right around the corner. Our first best of three that's been on the channel because the Lukey Lukey game did go to three yesterday. But the first one that we've broadcasted to finally go to a best of three. I'm excited. Do or die yep. time. Demon Dota. Let's go. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back with game number three right around the corner. Stay tuned.